Li Hao, Senior Director and Head of the Annual Meeting Program at the World Economic Forum. Can you tell us what the focus is going to be on at the next annual meeting in 2009? Well, the immediate focus obviously will be on the global economy. Uh, we'll have a number of discussions focusing on really what were the uh, events or, or challenges and problems that led to the current financial crisis. Obviously also looking at how we're going to get out of this crisis and restore confidence back in the global economy. That said, um, really the challenges are much greater than that. Uh, we have to look at the global agenda in its totality. Uh, we want to focus on important other issues such as climate change, nuclear nonproliferation, uh, food security, energy security, among others. Uh, in fact, we have a, a very robust agenda, but the key point here is that it's not a zero-sum exercise. We're going to look at the economy as well as the other global challenges uh, holistically and hopefully uh, looking at it from a not just a short-term perspective but a long-term perspective. Uh, and with that holistic approach, uh, at the, looking at the global agenda, we can come to some solutions that I hope can uh, really help improve the state of the world. And who are the participants who are going to be discussing these issues in, in an attempt to drive them forward? Well, the participants, well, the leaders that will be there are, are really from a variety of stakeholder groups. And I think, if anything, the current state of the world shows that you need all the stakeholder groups. So we will have uh, political leaders over 200 uh, ministerial representatives, as well as over 40 heads of state and government. Among them, Prime Minister of Russia, the Premier of China, uh, Chancellor of Germany, and the President of Mexico. Um, so really, this is a, a group of leaders that uh, cover all the geographies uh, in the world today. Uh, but along with them will be over 1,000 leaders of industry who will be really tasked in thinking about how to restore confidence and growth in the global economy. Also joining them will be over 200 experts from various disciplines, among them are Nobel laureates, uh, eminent scientists, and others. We'll have religious leaders joining them, as well as the heads of the major NGOs and labor leaders as well. So this is really a uh, multi-stakeholder group, uh, which is really distinctive when you think about uh, other gatherings in the world today. So with over 2,000 decision makers in Davos at the annual meeting, what will this lead to? Well, I think one thing is, is a common understanding of the challenge. I think all of the leaders assembled, um, and they come from different backgrounds, geographies, and domains, appreciate uh, this. One, that the world is very interconnected, and that's why the crisis is a global crisis right now. And that connectivity also uh, adds the complexity of all the issues on the global agenda. So at a minimum, we need improved coordination and much more collaboration around those issues. And if we do that, we'll get to the confidence that we need to go forward. So the idea is to bring these stakeholders around these complicated issues, but have them come together, think together, collaborate, and innovate. And hopefully, we can get uh, really the, the, sh the state of the world back on course.